So I got a couple comments on my last couple of videos asking how to set up the Super Mario 64 DS Circle Pad patch. And I've decided to make a tutorial because currently there's not a tutorial to do this on YouTube. Well, hopefully this will help you. It's a patch for 3DS users to play Super Mario 64 DS with the Circle Pad and 360 degree movement. It is way better than the default uh, D-Pad and such, so I highly recommend doing this 100%. It makes the game so much more playable and so much more like the original. It's a, it's a must-have. So some prerequisites are, well, required. For one, you need to have a modded 3DS. I know that might shut off a couple of you, but trust me, it is really, really easy. It's just somewhat time-consuming. If you could set aside like 40 minutes to do it, it's really easy. Follow the guide in the description. Make sure it's that written guide. Don't follow any video tutorials. Following those always runs the risk of breaking your 3DS consoles, so avoid those. Once you get through the guide, it should take you through installing some needed apps. So yeah, just get through that. All right, once you've gone ahead and homebrewed your 3DS, if you followed the guide I linked, you should end up with these apps here. But more importantly, we want to be using Universal Updater. Once you're done, open that. And we're going to be downloading two apps, one of which being, you can see right there, Twilight Menu Plus Plus. Go ahead and hit A. We're just going to use the stable version. Yeah, would you like to execute this entry? Hit A to confirm. Yeah. Just uh, wait for that to download. All right, once that's done, uh, we got to download another app, but it's kind of buried, so we're just going to go ahead and search for it. Um, TW for TW Patcher. Yeah, TW Patch, it should be that one. All the CIA, so it shows up in our home screen. And uh, wait for that to download. Shouldn't take long. All right, once both of those are done, go back to the home menu. It's two things. Firm Patcher, Twilight Menu Plus Plus. Turn the console off. Then power the 3DS back on, holding down select this time and enable the options enable loading external firms and modules as well as enable game patching. You want to make sure both of these are enabled. Hit start to save and it should take us to the home menu and when it does just turn off your 3DS and we're going to put SD card into your computer. Once you've plugged in your SD card into your computer, um, head to the ROMs folder, NDS and it'll say place NDS ROMs here. Just get your legally obtained ROM for Super Mario 64 DS and place it here. There's plenty of tutorials all around. It's really easy to back up your DS cartridge. Just place the .NDS file here and then the .save file into the saves folder. We're just gonna download one more thing. Head over to the GBA temp site in description. It should take you to a page like this and this guy's made a lot of circle pad hacks, which is actually really cool. Yeah, so you might expect to download the Super Mario 64 DS.zip for the sake of simplicity and um, ease of use, I guess. We'll just get the all patches combined, user cheat.dat. So once you've downloaded that, go into your SD card zip root, underscore NDS, Twilight menu, extras. And if you've used um, Twilight Patcher before, there will be a user cheat.dat file already. The way to add this cheat, rather than just, you know, overwriting it, would be to use R4CCE and then add the code manually. It's pretty easy to do. I'll link a download in the description, and chances are, if, it, if you already have a user cheat.dat, you've already done this before. So, uh, just copy that to our extras folder. I'm going to hit replace, because I don't really care about the other whatever I had before. Go back to the root, right click, and eject. And then reinsert the SD card into your 3DS. All right, cool, we're back here now. So once you've done everything I just said and reinserted the SD card, we're gonna go into TW Patcher, or Firm Patcher, whatever it's. Open that up, and then um, give it a moment to load. And as you can see, it's showing us a little preview of what the DS game will look with the current um, patches we have. We're going to hit Y plus B, and as you can see, it's showing us all the patches. You're going to want to make sure RTCOM is enabled. It should be on by default, just ensure. Now would be the time to enable the widescreen patch if you really want it, but I haven't messed with any of that, so I can't say how stable it is or if it will mess with the hack, so do it in your own risk. And once it's done, hit B to go back and um, start to begin patching. It'll take a little while. And then we're gonna go into Twilight Menu++. 
I'm not sure how this works, if this is like an emulated DSi booting screen or it takes advantage of the 3DS's um, built-in DS mode. I have no idea, but it's cool regardless, so. Um, select your language. Preparing music, okay, I forgot. It had to do all this stuff. All right, yeah, you see, this is what I was talking about. It kind of looks like a DSi, which is admittedly pretty cool, but you know, we don't want to go into the 3DS folder. We want to keep going until we see the ROMs folder. Yep, and then hit A, and then we're gonna keep scrolling until we see the NDS folder. Yep, and then hit A again. And yeah, as you can see, it has our ROM right there. And now we're gonna hit Y and it should pull up this menu. X for cheats. And then we're gonna enable the C pad. I'm using an old 3DS, so it doesn't have the nub stick or small Z and Z R buttons. So if you have a new model, um, I'd recommend using the nub stick because that lets you control the camera. And that's actually like really useful. I use that a ton when I beat the game. But yeah, if you're using an old model, just go with the normal cheat. A to select. X to save, B for back, and then we can watch the game. See, as I move, there's like that little touch screen thing. Because basically the way the, the cheat works to my knowledge is the circle pad kind of emulates the touch screen. So if it didn't work, let's talk troubleshooting now. So if it didn't work for whatever reason, here's some things you should try. Make sure both your console, Luma 3DS, and Twilight Menu++ Plus Plus are up to date. This is vital, as earlier versions just straight up don't work for some reason. You're also going to want to make sure you install the correct patch for your game's region. Obviously, using the wrong patch with the wrong region will just not work, so ensure that you have it correctly. You're going to also want to make sure that you hit save on the cheats menu. I've I, When I first set this up, I made the mistake of not saving, and I was like, what the heck? this cheat doesn't work and I uh, I was just dumb and I forgot about it for a while. You live you learn. One final thing you can try is just restarting your console. Of course when you're like installing all this stuff a good restart might be what your 3DS just needs. Just power it all the way off and all the way on again and it should be fine. If you tried all of those um, please drop a comment with whatever you did and uh, the names of the files and all that stuff. And I'll try to help. You can also ask on the GBA temp website. So, you know, hopefully this worked. Um, it is really, really worth it, I assure you. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, and that subscribe button is white, click it to make it gray, and have a nice day.